Hi everyone, I have a project share for you today. Um, I am sending this package out to Tino, who is Mrs. Evely, here on YouTube and Instagram. And before I uh, box it up, I wanted to just do a quick project share. So just on the top, I have a gold bag and I decorated it with some a doily. Um, I layered some tags from the Flourish collection and I think this is from the um, Carousel Collection chipboard uh, sticker sheet and in here I included some wood slices that I got at Hobby Lobby and I know she's working on some Christmas projects and thought that she might want to alter them. Um, I also have a little bag of goodies in here and I just um, gold, gold doily, a little chipboard sticker and laid some Carousel cardstock. Um, here I have a little bundle of yumminess as well um, that I wanted to share with her. So here's my project. Um, I created this little embellishment box and this is using the Dollar Tree um, organizer with lid. And I actually love these because they protect them and I get to put larger embellishments that I created without it getting squished. So on top, I put the um, carousel collection that I printed from the digitals and I put some foam gold um, thickers and says pretties, um, some white um, bling on the bottom uh, and some milky white bling on top. I created a little rosette and I put a foam and felt flower on top just to give it a little cuteness. And around the box, I wrapped it with the Hobby Lobby ruffle trim and as well as the uh, floral rainbow color trim. It's actually one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty. And here's what's inside the box. So I created these um, flowers and layered up the carousel collection. Um, I put some glass glitter in the middle. I love the way that they came out. And instead of wrapping them individually to send to her, I, I thought that this was the perfect way without it getting squished. I just laid the bottom down with some crinkles and then just put my handmade embellishments in here. In the center, I had created this mini embroidery hoop. So I painted it um, with some peach color. I went around the edges with some gold, with my favorite gold marker that I use on pretty much all my projects. It's this marker here. I got this at Hobby Lobby um, when they were having the holiday sale. And I think I got this for super cheap, but this was a steal and I love this marker. Um, so this little hoop I put some cheesecloth on the bottom I backed it with some willow lane paper and then I put this little swan in front and just went around with the gold marker on the, the um, swans I guess wings and then I laid some pearl and the Hobby Lobby leaf um, trim on the bottom on top I put a little bit of a um, resin cluster and a little pink resin bow um, on the back, I painted it as well, and then I went around with some Nouveau Gold Flakes, and then I thought I'd add this sticker just to give it a little dimension. And that's in this little middle pocket here, and I love the way that that came out. And in here I have some um, little, I guess, um, embellishments that I wanted to share. This is a little pink butterfly. I have a gold heart. I have a pink heart. I have some cute sequins that I wanted to share and I put this in a little jar. And I have in here some little polka dot bows um, that I thought I'd share. So that is the little embellishment box that I created and I love the way it came out. So put that back. Okay, and here is my project share. So I was walking around my office one day and I managed to find these canvas bags and I asked someone and they're like, uh, you can take all of them. So I decided to just alter them and um, I have a Maggie Holmes stamp and this is a um, just using regular black ink um, and I wrote, went around and stamped the image several times. 
um, the back I just went in a row and I love the way that it came out it's super cute and here is my project share so I made it a mini and belly album I love making these and ta-da so on the front cover I also have a beautiful ballerina so this is using a mishmash of different collections. I use the Flourish collection, some Chasing Dreams, Willow Lane, and um, the Carousel collection for Maggie Holmes. Um, I have a shaker pocket. I basically just fused it and then put this beautiful frame from Flourish collection um, on top of it. I layered one of my beautiful handmade ballerinas little cluster of flowers, uh, some skeleton leaf that I had in my stash, and these little pearl beads just to give it a little interest. On the top I have this big puffy pink heart and some enamel dots on the side. Bottom it says cherish the moment. I really love the way that it came out. Um, this shaker is just jam-packed full with beautiful sequins. Um, so I felt bad covering it up. I thought that maybe that I put something on top, but I actually like it the way that it is. It's a window to this beautiful mix. So on the side here, I just put her name. I love doing that. I think it personalizes it and um, it gives it that edge. I put a little eyelet for my tassel that I have here. So added several um, pastel trims. And this cute little um, tassel that I got from Allie. I thought it looked really cute. This little sequence bow. And yeah, I really love the way that it came out. Um, and here's the back. So I actually put some gold flake leaves that I've been like loving adding to my projects. Um, I added a gold doily and then laid this house ephemera from the Flourish collection on top. Um, I think it just gives it a little bit, it finishes the, the back of the book. On the edges of the book, I did put these gold, I don't know what they're called, but um, I love to add these. I feel like they give it a little bit of a more vintage, romantic vibe to them, especially with Maggie Holmes. I think it goes so well. I have this shabby shabby rim uh, ribbon on the side and let's dive right into the book so here's the first two pages um this page here i have uh, several different layers put some stickles on the maggie home rose on the bottom i have some gold paper and then i layered it with this um polka dot uh tool i took one of those um the hummingbirds and just layered it and there's a friend right in the middle i love that the way i love how that came out um here this is an embellishment that she can take off and it is so this wand uh, embellishment i created i added some um, little feather details um just to give it a little interest i put some little jammies in the center and this embellishment was used creating this pink fresh dye that I have in my stash. Um, sorry for the glare. Here's this one and here is the little floral background piece. So um, I have a little pocket here and in this pocket I have some pretty doilies that I shared with Tina. And here's my next page in this embellishment book. So I created these little typewriters using the carousel collection. I love the, how they came out. Um, here are the hummingbirds I shared on my Instagram. And this is actually using a six dye that I have in my stash. Um, this is from Brenda Walton. And here's the number. And it's this hummingbird that I have here. Um, it's actually a layered hummingbird. And I love this one. It's, it's just it's so pretty. Uh, even just for the frame part really cute. Here I have a little pocket and in this pocket I have my ballerinas. So I just put some little feathers on the bottom and 
I love the way that these came out. Okay, and the next page I have my telephone embellies that I'd shown in a previous video. Love that. And here I have my little magnet closure. So I did end up laminating the deer only because, I don't know, sh whenever I see a deer, it actually reminds me of Tina. Um, and I, don't, I wanted this one to, to stay, I guess, in pristine shape. I don't know, just a pretty vibe. Little floral resins, and I think it came out cute. So this is a magnet closure, and in here, I put some lace um, and floral trim on top. I have a little lacy pocket, and in here I have some bag toppers. I love sharing these. These are, you know, they never go to waste, and I used uh, several different Maggie Holmes collections to cut them out. This trim actually I did receive um, from my friend Olga, who's for the love of crafts on Instagram, and it's so pretty. I add a little bit of uh, uh, pearls in the center, and I love that the way it came out. So that's my project share for today. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, ask me below, and um, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, and um, I'll see you at the next video. Bye, everyone.